White Sox showing strong interest in Mike Clevenger. The White Sox are showing strong interest in free agent starter Mike Clevenger, according to Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic. Clevenger, who turns 32 in less than a month, is two years removed from Tommy John surgery. He returned to, from the procedure this year to post a 4.33 ERA and 114 in the third regular season innings for the Padres. The White Sox currently have a solid starting four lined up for their 2023 20, rotation in Dylan Cease, Lance Lynn, Lucas G. Leto, and Michael Kopech. Though Kopech is recovering from a pair of injuries. Though Clevenger's post Tommy John work was uninspiring, some teams may hope further distance from the surgery and or tweaks to his repertoire can recover some of his pitching previous form. From 2017 to 2020, mostly pitching for Cleveland, Clevenger put up 2.96 ERA over 489 in the third innings, including an excellent 19K to walk percent. The Padres acquired Clevenger from the Indians in a, in a nine-player trade at the 2020 trade deadline. It's worth noting the White Sox were also in the mix for the pitcher they knew so well from the American League Central, though Rosenthal heard from one team official who felt they were used as as a stalking horse. At the time of the surgery announcement, the Padres also bought a Clevenger, bought out Clevenger's final two arbitration years for a total of eleven and a half million, effectively paying him that amount for what he could contribute in 2022. Though Clevenger remarked in March, "I have I feel healthier than I have in my entire career." He sprained his left knee. He sprained his knee shortly after leading in May for season debut. He hit the aisle again after three starts due to a tricep strain. Over his first 10 games, Clevenger was able to miss at bats at an above average rate at 24.7% clip. Over his last 11 starts, Clevenger punched out only 13.5%. Clevenger lost a bit of his fastball as the season wore on, occasionally working 95 plus in some of his earlier starts versus a few sub-93 games in dog days of summer. With a cast of unproven hurlers vying for the fifth starting spot and Kopech recovering from his knee surgery, White Sox pitching coach Ethan Katz recently com commented, obviously we need another starter, as reported by James Fegan of The Athletic, but as Fegan noted from GM meetings earlier this month, if there's one thing the White Sox are not touting about themselves this offseason, it's their payroll flexibility. For an overall view of the challenges faced by Rick Khan, check out my offseason outlook here. MLB ranked Clevenger 49th out of on our top 50 free agent list, predicting a one-year $10 million deal. While we do find a two-year pact plausible for Clevenger, it's possible he'd prefer to sign a one-year contract to a to rebuild value in 2023, though he would subject to qualifying offer if he succeeds. A handful of starting pitchers have come off the board this at this early point in the offseason. Martin Perez, Tyler Anderson, and Nick Martinez, chief among them. And those have been some of your sports updates from Tyler Moore's podcast. Thanks for watching.